Today we are reading this article from ProPublica. It is about the money doctors get from the pharmaceutical industry and how it affects their decisions on what drugs, what medications to give us. This will be an excellent read for medical vocabulary. Thank you for the idea. If you want to continue practicing after we're done, you can listen to the podcast, get free audiobook versions of magazines, or start reading actual magazines to really, really, really improve your English more. And of course, click down here, the three dots, so you can read with me and have a much easier time repeating what I say to also improve your speaking skills. But hey, I think it's time to start this article and find out more about doctors and what influences them. Now there's proof. Docs who get company cash tend to prescribe more brand name meds. The more money doctors receive from drug and medical device companies, the more brand name drugs they tend to prescribe. A new ProPublica analysis shows even a meal can make a difference. To give you some context, a lot of doctors and physicians will get free meals from pharmaceutical companies. These are drug companies, the people who make the drugs and medication that we take to feel better. They also get a lot of other benefits or perks from these drug companies or pharmaceuticals. What we're going to look at now is how it influences or impacts the decisions that doctors make. Will they give more drugs from a brand name, a drug that costs more and has a trademark, than generic drugs, drugs that are no longer trademarked and are much cheaper? Doctors have long disputed that the payments they receive from pharmaceutical companies have any relationship to how they prescribe drugs. There's been little evidence to settle the matter. Until now, a ProPublica analysis has found for the first time that doctors Doctors who receive payments from the medical industry do indeed tend to prescribe drugs differently than their colleagues who don't. And the more money they receive, on average, the more brand name medications they prescribe. We matched records on payments from pharmaceutical and medical device makers in 2014, with corresponding data on doctors' medication choices in Medicare's prescription drug program. To prescribe a medication is what a doctor does to authorize and allow a patient to use use and take it. Remember, pharmaceuticals or drug companies are the very large corporations that make the drugs, distribute, and market them. So they want doctors to prescribe more of their drugs. To tend to do something means to do something more often or habitually as a habit. As evidence, they mention some of the corresponding data. If something corresponds, it is related or relevant. Let's continue. Doctors who got money from drug and device makers, even just a meal, prescribed a higher percentage of brand name drugs overall than doctors who didn't, our analysis showed. Indeed, doctors who received industry payments were two to three times as likely to prescribe brand name drugs at exceptionally high rates as others in their specialty. Doctors who received more than $5,000 from companies in 2014 typically had the highest brand name prescribing percentages. Among internists who received no payments, for example, the average brand name prescribing rate was about 20% compared to about 30% for those who received more than $5,000. ProPublica's analysis doesn't prove industry payments sway doctors to prescribe particular drugs, or even a particular company's drugs. Rather, it shows that payments are associated with an approach to prescribing that, writ large, benefits drug companies' bottom line. A lot of good vocabulary here. Starting with an internist. An internist is a doctor who is specialized in internal medicine, and those that were not paid were less likely to prescribe brand name drugs and instead prescribe the cheaper generic drugs. To sway someone is to influence someone, to motivate their actions. So doctors weren't swayed or motivated to prescribe specific drugs, but they were motivated to prescribe brand name more expensive drugs. If something is writ large, it is clear and obvious. These payments that doctors receive writ large obviously benefits drug companies because even though doctors aren't giving preference to specific companies, they are giving preference to the pharmaceutical companies in general and not prescribing generic 
drugs. Let's go back. It again confirms the prevailing wisdom that there is a relationship between payments and brand name prescribing, said Dr. Alan Kesselheim, an associate professor of medicine at Harvard Medical School, who provided guidance on early versions of ProPublica's analysis. This feeds into the ongoing conversation about the propriety of these sorts of relationships. Hopefully, we're getting past the point where people will say, oh, there's no evidence that these relationships change physicians prescribing practice. Practices. Numerous studies show that generics, which must meet rigid Food and Drug Administration standards, work as well as brand names for most patients. Brand name drugs typically cost more than generics and are more heavily advertised. Although some medications do not have exact generic versions, there usually is a similar one in the same category. In addition, when it comes to patient satisfaction, there isn't much difference between brands and generics. According to data collected by the website Iodine, which is building a repository of user reviews on drugs, there's wide variation from state to state when it comes to the proportion of prescribers who take industry money our analysis found. The rate in Nevada, Alabama, Kentucky, and South Carolina was twice as high as in Vermont, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Maine. A lot of new information, so let's review. When we talk about companies, the bottom line is your profits. So the drug company's bottom line benefits from giving some money to doctors. They're, they make more profits, they make more money. If something is prevailing, it is generally accepted, held to be truthful or or accurate. And here the prevailing wisdom or idea because of this research is that doctors are influenced by the money they receive. If information feeds into something, it is contributing to, it is adding additional information or whatever it is that you're feeding. So here this new research feeds into the discussion about doctors and pharmaceutical companies. It's contributing and adding to the conversation. A physician is just really a fancier word for saying doctor, but they're both very good to know. Talking about requirements and standards. If a standard or requirement is rigid, it means that you cannot change it. It's strict. For the TOEFL and IELTS, the standards are very rigid for most universities. They will not accept scores below the, their very rigid requirements. The author says that there's a wide variation between states. Variation just means difference, variety. In some states, the doctors are heavily influenced by the money they get, and in other states is not as big. All right, so we're going to stop it there. If you want to continue reading this article by yourself, the link is in the description with everything else, including the podcast. If you want to continue listening and practicing, you can also get your own free audiobook versions of magazines or get your own physical copies of magazines. These are excellent so that you can continue improving your English no matter where you are. And if you continue reading by yourself, give me the questions that you have down there in the comments too. Well guys, that's it for today. Ciao for now. Adios.